and welcome to EBA Day 2023 in Madrid. Kindly joining me in the studio away from the busy exhibition floor is Juan Olezola from Pega Next and Michael Muller from Form 3. Hello to the both of you. Thanks for joining me in the studio. Hello, Hello. thanks for having us. Really good to have you here. I know it's a very busy and indeed important EBA Day uh, for the both of you. It's uh, Pega Next's first time EBA Day and I know Form 3 has an ever-growing presence in the European payment space. Uh, but you tell me in your own words, uh, why is your participation at EBA Day so important? Well, well it's great. I mean, it's a, an event full of energy, people that share a common worry about the European payments, which is uh, our natural market. And, uh, and for us, it's an incredible opportunity because we are getting into a new state of opening to the market and getting the feedback firsthand from uh, uh, potential customers or partners is, is a great experience. Yes, a partner such as yourself. And anything you'd like to add, Mike? As most conferences, a fantastic networking opportunity uh, to see uh, you know so many old acquaintances and new ones, um, customers, partners. Um, it's uh, it's great to be here. Yeah, and great to be here uh, together as partners as well. And um, I know that during your conversations over the course of EBA Day. Uh, we would have seen there's no doubt that the European payments market is rapidly changing and doesn't show any signs of stopping as well. So what I want to hear from you next is uh, what are some of those opportunities uh, that banks can really make the most of uh, taking into account all that change? And Michael, we'll come to you. Well, when you look at the, uh, the key trends, um, so some of them are related to technology and I would say that we're a technology company. Um, the cloud has made a big difference, platform-based architecture, um, the way you uh, build technology today, you roll out technology has completely changed. So I think in general, it's an exciting time uh, for us to be in payments. If you overlay that with the market developments yes. in Europe, where um, I think uh, real-time payments are an important topic um, and uh, the migration towards real-time will accelerate. Um, that will unlock uh, massive opportunities for banks, but uh, it will also present some challenges. And um, I think Juan, in my view, vision of you know where this could lead, and uh, you know how banks can actually prepare themselves so that are pretty much aligned. So we do believe that uh, you know after all of these years in payments, you know Europe is a very hot spot of you know payment innovation right now. Well, taking that into account, then how do you think? Uh, the banks are placed then uh, to reap the benefits and take advantage of them uh, with their current capabilities in place at the moment. So Juan, what do you think about well, that? Well, I think banks, and I have experience because I come from one large bank, are dealing with challenges because uh, in this area, uh, in the last probably 10, 15 years, the level of investment to cope up with this change has not been enough. And on top of that, we have a regulatory event coming at the end of 2024 that is going to create the perfect storm. So in some way, uh, this creating the opportunity for doing something radical about payments. And, uh, and I think the future is going to be about uh, no one has a solution for everything. You have to partner, uh, you have to look for different uh, stakeholders to, to collaborate, like uh, we're doing with 4.3, and the idea is that building among all of us a solution that helped this bank to jump to the new phase of the mm -hmm. immediate payments. Well, what I'm hearing is partnerships are really key and it's the customer that's going to be the one that benefits at the end, is it? So uh, the future is bright. Um, that's it. And thank you both for coming in and sharing your insights and uh, I'll let you get back out there so you can share them with the rest of the delegates, but thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you to you.